I'm Chris Montoya. I sell houses and this is Jason and he sells Colorado Adventures. How are you doing, Jason? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask the obvious questions, man. How long have you owned this place? We've had this campground for, this is our fifth season right now. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful, by the way. Thank you. I, so can you tell me some of the amenities? Tell me all the amenities you guys have here. <laughs> so uh, so it, it is a full service campground from from your super nice RV sites to your basic RV sites. Uh, we have basic camping cabins where you bring your own sleeping bag and, and we just provide a, a really cool environment for you. Uh, we have the deluxe cabins, which are you know, basically a, a, a hotel with all the, the amenities, refrigerator, microwave, stove, um, only in the outdoors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and then we have an amazing amount of activities. I mean, we do Bigfoot hunts and we've got the swimming pool and uh, we have a giant slide over there, go-karts. Uh, there's always some kind of craft project, BB gun shooting stuff going on for the kids. Uh, we do wine tasting and beer tasting for the adults in the evenings. And have, I like that idea. Yeah, have <laughs> campfire ceremonies. Uh, so there's something going on all the time. Very cool. How, how big is your floor, your, your uh, acreage? Yeah, 25, 25 acres right here. Okay, mm -hmm. 25 acres. And I bet you're really, really close to mountain biking. We're very close to mountain <laughs> biking, which is one of the reasons, uh, you know, we are in such a great location is because we can just jump on these trails that uh, we spent a ton of money uh, building here in Canyon City. Uh, we contribute 1% of all of our income to help develop future trails. Yeah, and the trails out there are amazing. And the, the Via Ferrata out there as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, I haven't done that, but... Uh, Tell me about... so. Tell the peep. Tell the people. Tell the people about the Via Ferrata. So <clears throat> my understanding is, is that it allows you to traverse the the cliff walls essentially of the Royal Gorge. So um, just an additional add-on experience for the Royal Gorge Bridge itself is to be able to kind of get out on the edge and and look down and be tethered by you know whatever rope they've got. But uh, yeah, and the Royal Gorge Bridge is what five miles, minutes away? Four miles away, just up the hill. Yeah. yeah. So you, you could get that experience in Colorado as well. So tell me one thing about our area, what you love, what's happening in the community. I think the, the development of the outdoor experience, us taking advantage of the outdoors, uh, we have such an amazing backdrop and, and access to uh, adventure in the outdoors. Mm -hmm. And so we're really uh, encompassing that now with the development of all these, the trail systems. So, you know, there's, epic mountain biking there's beautiful trail hikes you know the the river walk down in town for something that's just super laid back but nice and shady along the river uh, the development of the river park is phenomenal so uh, the the world-renowned rock climbing that we have in our backyard and yeah that's the one secret nobody knows about knows we about. have world-class sport climbs i think we have 480 bolted routes mm -hmm. yeah. eight yeah. ten minutes outside of town mm -hmm. and so yep. renowned fly fishing uh, you know, whitewater rafting that is, you know, comparable to any in the world. So is that the whitewater rafting company that's right there? Do you own part of that or no, is that just, no, they're just they, set they up they right there? No, they that spot from us. It's just a, a convenient location for our guests to maybe go. What is that, 20 yards away? It's not far. <laughs> <laughs> not bad at all. So here's the part where I, uh, you get to ask me one question. All right. <clears throat> well, listen, I, I don't know. I, I kind of toyed with this a little bit of whether I wanted to kind of throw you under a bus or put you on the spot. And put me, you can put me on the spot if you want to. <laughs> no. Doesn't mean I'll answer. Go ahead. That's right. No. <laughs> But I want to I want to ask something that I'm interested in. Okay. So tell me where you see people coming from. You, you're selling houses and, and mm -hmm. a ton of houses. So are you selling to more local people relocating, or are you are you getting people coming in from outside? Uh, so it's a strong combination. What I would see is I would say since the the COVID uh, crisis pandemic, we've seen a lot of big city people. We sell a lot from Denver. People trying to get out of the big city. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, now that you can telecommute to work. Why would you live in a big city? You know, when you could experience this, I mean, trails are 15 minutes from my house and probably four minutes or three minutes from here. Mm -hmm. Why would you live in a big city? So we see a lot of big people moving from the big cities down to Canyon City. We see a lot, you know, and you know, we used to see, it was used to be a lot of California and Texas, but we're seeing more just, those people are actually moving away from their area to Denver and the people who are smart move from Denver to come to our area and I can't blame them. I wouldn't want to live in that traffic either. I think it's exciting. I think to see people finally recognize the, the huge asset that we have in Fremont County and Canyon City. Um, but we're seeing the same thing. It's, it's people coming from Denver. Mm -hmm. they're, they're finding 
the gem that, that we have and mm -hmm. they want to they participate in and play in it and i think that uh you know we fremont county Canyon city right like we're we're, we're willing to share yeah and we're poised to take advantage of yeah. it so and we're doing a great job now of doing just that yep. so man hey i appreciate the opportunity yeah, man. pleasure hey thanks guys appreciate it chris montoya who is gonna sell your house he'll find you one